Okay, good morning folks. Today you join me on Formby Beach, uh, just on the uh, coast of Merseyside. Behind me there is the uh, the coast, is the, the actual sea itself. Uh, and then behind you is a forest, which I'm going to head off into there later. Now, this area is great for photography because it's got all the sand dunes, you've got the water, and then you'll, you've also got the woodland behind you. So what I'm hoping to do this morning is get a few shots around the beach, incorporate the sand dunes in some way, just sort of do some quite minimal images. There's nobody on the beach at all, it's completely empty down there. And then later on this afternoon, head into the, um, into the forest area and try and get some shots of uh, red, red squirrels, uh, which uh, sort of hang around here really hang around as if there's some sort of squirrel gang. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice to, uh, to go into the forest and try and get some uh, woodland, uh, woodland shots and then obviously try and incorporate some of the red, I can't say red squirrels, that's it, another word I can't say. Incorporate red squirrels into the images as well. So that's the plans for today. Hopefully you'll uh, come and join me and we'll uh, see what images we can get throughout, uh, throughout the course of the day. I was hoping this morning that the uh, weather conditions would be uh, quite sunny. It was forecast for um, nice sunshine and, uh, and then starting to cloud over later on this afternoon. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It's a little bit grey, a little bit flat. There is hope of the sunrise just behind you guys, really. Um, but there's that much uh, low-level cloud. It's just really not happening. So I'm going to stick around the sand dunes for a little bit longer, see what I can get. So I think today is all about taking it easy. Many, many times I go out as a photographer and I rush in to try and get that shot. And it doesn't always happen. And you come out and you come back and you're stressed and you've not really done the best you can. So I think this morning is really about just taking it easy and just about appreciating what's around. Um, looking, at, oh, looking at the landscape in a little bit more detail, a little bit more passion than you normally would. I think that's a great thing about early starts and getting out here in the morning is yeah you've still got the rush against the uh, sunrise you've still got to you know get the composition and get the shot but once it's gone then it's all about taking in the beauty I think a lot of times we kind of forget it's about the beauty and about how we're going to try and capture that image and that's one of, th one of the things I want to do today is just sort of take it a little bit slower a little bit more relaxed and yeah, hopefully that comes across in this video. So the image I've just taken is of this fence uh, that's sort of seen better days with the sea in the background and then a little bit of colour in the cloud as well in the distance. So beautiful being here just at this time in the morning. Is it worth getting up when it's still dark? 
yeah, it is. When you get here, you understand that it is actually worth the, uh, the effort of getting out of bed when uh, yeah, you've got a full day off and you could have actually uh, stayed in bed a lot longer. But no, well, well and truly worth the effort. Okay, so I know I said uh, in the last couple of videos I'm going to keep my shots simple and uh, ignore the panos. I couldn't resist, not on this shot here. So I've done a pano just from behind you now, just incorporating sand dunes into the uh, into the water, and obviously with this beautiful sky, this beautiful coloured sky as well, makes for quite a good image, I think. Well, I hope that's the plan anyway. So uh, yeah, sorry, couldn't resist doing a, uh, a pano shot for you, but uh, I'll put it on screen now if it's worked out. You can probably tell by the uh, light on my face, the sun's just come out um, just behind the clouds. So I'm going to head further into the forest now. I think I've done all I can with the beach and the sand dunes. Yeah, head into the forest. There's quite a few gnarly looking trees, sort of very windswept. Um, yeah, very twisted and sort of bitter looking. Um, so what I'm going to do is have a look and see if we can get any compositions um, through that. So uh, yeah, with the way the sunlight is at the minute, I know I said earlier on that the uh, there was, the light was completely flat, but it just shows what an hour, a difference an hour makes. All the clouds started to disperse over towards the east. Um, and yeah, we were starting to get what could be uh, quite a nice day. So yeah, I think it's an ideal opportunity to head now into the forest, see what we can get from there and uh, yeah, come and join me. So I've just stopped um, at the foot of the forest. It's kind of just behind you there, just there. Um, still sort of in the sand dunes, but I've just noticed a, a group of trees just in the distance. So I've thrown the uh, 72 100 millimeter lens on, uh, just waiting for a little bit of light to come out to um, to light that area up. So I'm, fill I'm shooting at 200 mil um, and see what we can get from this. Uh, yeah, it looks a little bit strange just on the sand dune, so it uh, might make for an interesting image, might be rubbish, who knows, we'll, uh, we'll see what we get. So behind me with a group of trees I was looking to photograph today. Um, fortunately the light's gone again. Um, there's a big bank of cloud that's just moved across. And what I was hoping to get is a lot of light streaming through these uh, particular trees. I just love the way that they're all twisted and sort of a, a little bit of chaos, but so clumped together as well. Could make for uh, quite a decent image. Whether I'll get anything today, I'm not sure. Probably not looking at the way the light is. I think you need light streaming through. Probably a little bit of morning mist, something like that. A little bit of drama within these. 
I'll have a go, see what we can get. Um, if not, I'm going to head further into the forest and sort of see what I can get, sort of pick out of the... Uh, I don't know what the hell that was. Um, see what I can pick out in the forest um, and go from there really, but um, yeah. A little bit disappointed about the light, but I'm sure I'll be able to, uh, be able to get something and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get. It's really quite strange here on how close to the beach you are and yet two minutes walk you're in a deep forest. It's actually quite lovely. You wear me down. So I'm just heading back towards the car park now. Um, on the, just on the side of the car park, there's some enclosures, but uh, it's more just fenced off. And this is where the red squirrels are meant to be. Now, I've been here once before, and I saw red squirrels. Um, so it'd be interesting if we can get any on camera today. Didn't have my, uh, my camera with me. Just had my iPhone and uh, yeah, you couldn't really get close enough to, uh, to get a shot. So armed with the uh, 7200 mil, Hopefully we should get uh, get an image from them. Be nice. I'm not very good at wildlife I really haven't got the patience for uh, For catching these little critters, but um, Yeah, we'll uh, we'll give it a go and hopefully we can uh, get a couple of image from, images from it I'm really starting to get some nice dappled light through the forest as well now the uh, I think a lot of the cloud has dispersed away. So this could, uh, yeah, it could be quite nice. One thing to be mindful as well when you're uh, out taking different types of shots on the uh, on the same day is just to remember your camera settings aren't always the same. Um, I've just tried to take that shot now, um, just with the light coming through through the trees and then harsh shadows coming across, um, and the settings were completely wrong. I had bracketing uh, for a completely different exposure. The ISO was at 640. Um, yeah, just didn't work. And by the time I got the camera settings right. Uh, the light's gone so um, I'm just gonna wait around and see if I can get it again I uh, hope so and um, if, I, if I do I'll show the image now if I don't we'll move on and, uh, and have a look at the squirrels okay um, I think I've got another shot there um, yeah. Not as good as it was when I first arrived, but hey. Um, right, off to squirrels. Um, I'm not gonna be able to vlog while I'm here. I'm gonna to have to keep my voice down. So obviously speaking to the camera is gonna be uh, very, very limited. Um, so if we've got some squirrel shots, never thought I'd say that, but uh, yeah, if we've got some squirrel shots, I'll show them now. If not, we'll move on to the next part of the location. Well, how else are they gonna get around?
absolutely no sign of them whatsoever. Um, I've just done a couple of laps now of the area that they're meant to uh, hang around in, keeping my voice fairly low. Um, but no, I can't see a thing. I've not heard any rustles or, or anything. Um, apparently January is their courting time and it's when they're meant to be a little bit less wary of anything uh, else that's, uh, that's going on. As you can imagine. Alright, we'll do a couple more laps and uh, see if there's anything. So hope to get a shot of a red squirrel. Yeah, patience. Uh, I need a little bit more patience, I think, to be a wildlife photographer. Well, it looks like it's time to end the vlog here. Um, I'm going to just keep on trying to look for a few more squirrels and see what else I can get um, from this area. But uh, yeah, very, very slim picking, certainly on the red squirrels. I have seen one. Um, I have taken a shot of it. It wasn't very good. It was uh, high up in the branches and uh, yeah, you can hardly tell what it is. But uh, I'll keep on trying, see what else we can get. But uh, for now, um, I'll leave this vlog here. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you on the next one very, very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.